Today, I will be discussing the deeply misunderstood topic, which is why you don't have a girlfriend. Ah, yes, a video discussing why you don't have a girlfriend, why you are an incel, or why you struggle with the problem of lack of women in general. Now, what better way to start off this video by discussing all of the false reasons as to why you don't have a girlfriend? Number one, because of your looks. Number two, because of the amount of money you have in the bank. Number three, because of your weight, whether that be you weigh too much, too little, which all those reasons you might be like, yeah, I, I, I know those, you know what I mean? Anyone who thinks those are the reasons you don't have a girl is stupid. It's obviously a, a personality thing. It's more about the mental aspect. All right, well, I'll keep going here. Your confidence level has no reason to do with why you don't have a girlfriend. Mm. Immediately, what goes on in your mind when you hear me say that? This guy's full of shit. Turn off the video. No, no, no. You see, when you follow the red pill community, such as like Andrew Tate or other super masculine macho influencers, they happen to tell you that you, in order to have a girlfriend, you need to have a good career, be physically fit, super emotionally intelligent, good looking, confident, things such as, so, things such as that, external, a lot of external factors, like a lot of money in the bank in order for you to have a girlfriend. However, that's not true, and that is actually the number one, actually it's the only reason why you don't have a girlfriend, is because you believe that you need those things in order to become whole and complete. Anything outside yourself, when you're trying to harvest external validation, that is announcing to the universe that I am not whole already because I need this external thing in order to be whole and complete. So how exactly does this work? Well, first of all, because I just said you don't need any external things, it has to do with unconditional self-love and self-acceptance. What I mean by that is self-acceptance, unconditional self-love, says that you are 100% whole and complete without having anything external whatsoever. So you know how you always tell yourself like in the future, like, oh, as soon as I, as soon as I have that thing, I can be whole and complete. Or as soon as I have this thing, I'm, al I'm allowing myself now to be fully happy. And if I don't have this thing, and if I lack it, then I'm going to extreme, be extremely depressed. That's completely backwards. Because what happens here is you don't think you're fully whole and complete. You think you need something outside of yourself. So therefore you are chasing women as a chore. And there's a lot of pressure, a lot of stress and anxiety, a lot of negative motivation in order to attract a woman. A big thing about this is you don't exactly need to learn skill in order to attract a woman. You know how some people just like it comes naturally for them and they never had to try in the first place? And you're like, well, well maybe they're just anomalies or they're just built different or something. No, no, no. You're misunderstanding something extremely deep here. And that is that people who can attract women with ease, they already know subconsciously that they're whole, complete. And because what happens with you right now, if you're watching this video and you have this problem, is there's you and then there's a wall, a big obstacle in the way. For example, whatever that is for you, that might be, for the sake of this video, having a girlfriend. And behind the wall, you store a piece of yourself behind that wall. And you tell yourself that as soon as I can conquer this obstacle, jump over that barrier, grab, get the girlfriend, grab the missing piece of myself, then I can be whole and complete and I'll finally be happy. But this is absolutely absurd because what you're gonna do is you're gonna constantly be raising the bar. What I mean is you might go grab that obstacle, get a girlfriend and be like, yes, I'm finally whole and complete but the bar is going to keep being raised. So you're going to keep getting like, you're, you're going to get a high as soon as you achieve that thing. And we call this a dirty high. And the dirty high is a great feeling. And that's like, oh yes, finally I conquered the thing that I want and it worked. I knew it would work. Thank you so much universe. I'm so proud of myself for conquering this, this uh, issue that I had. And then what's going to happen, the bar immediately raises and a week later, the high is going to wear off and you're going to go, 
Yeah, that's that's all great and all, but she was uh, she, she's she's kind of like a five out of ten. She's not that attractive. Now, in, in reality, you know, when I get a, a a seven out of ten, that's when I have earned happiness right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna do that. Seven out of ten, you get a nice peak high. Week later, you go, eh, you know what? I need a ten out of ten because that's like the highest potential in this life is getting a ten out of ten. As soon as I get a ten out of ten, hundred percent. Um, be 100% fine. I'll never have to chase anything in my life again because I'll be fully complete. And then after that, you go, you know what? <sighs> a 10 out of 10? Yeah, that's the best you can get. But, like, if you only have had one in your life, what can you really say about your life? So I'm, I, I, I'm still not exactly whole. Huh. Okay, I need, I need two 10 out of 10s now. And then I need two 10 out of 10 girlfriends at the same time. And it keeps going up and up and up and up. So what happens in this scenario is if you think that you need a girl to be whole and complete, or in reality, don't you don't even just have to apply this to having a girlfriend. You can just apply this to really anything in your life. The reason that this actually, this mentality actually interferes with you attracting women is because, like I said, you're coming at them. They can sense women are, are, are very intuitive. So they can smell desperate energy um, immediately. And no matter how good you play it off, like you can play it off as, like, as, as if you don't care in the beginning. And you can pretend for maybe a week or a month or, or, or maybe a few months that you don't care and that you have everything and that you're super confident macho man. But if you really have this problem of attachment that I'm talking about, then you're not going to be able to play it off for too long. And eventually... As soon as you get comfortable in the relationship, you're going to start dropping your baggage of insecurity, of you believing you're not whole. Immediately, fear of loss is going to start kicking, and you're going to panic, and you're going to be doing so much extra shit in order to you know, make sure that you don't lose them. Um, and they're going to sense your desperate energy. They're going to sense that you know that you're not whole and complete and that you have insecurities. And what's going to happen is they're going to back off and they're going to leave you. There's no sunshine and rainbows really in this universe. Uh, that is one pill that I had to swallow is that the universe has zero compassion towards you if you're not doing the right thing. If you're doing the right thing and you've discovered the right way to find girls or, or such as dropping attachment, then the universe will give you anything that you ever wanted, so much abundance. However, even if you're on the brink of suicide because you can't get a girlfriend and you're still attached to them, the universe will not give a single shit whatsoever. It'll keep beating you, beating you, beating you down until you give up and you're willing to learn this lesson. And go off on your own. Stop trying to harvest validation through women. Go off on your own and really start to work on yourself in order to believe that you're whole and complete as it is. So how do you actually do this? First thing I would say is, first thing I would say is watch this video over many times. And whenever I say something that resonates to you or you're about to have like a epiphany with, pause it and really contemplate that over and over in your head. Watch this video over many times. Pause it in a bunch of places and just sit there and think about what I have said. Because if you're super attacked, you're going to be really depressed. Um, especially if you're not getting the results that you want in your relationship. You're going to be like a 10 out of 10 depressed. And you're going to be pausing this video and you're going to be thinking about the shit I'm saying. And then all of a sudden, one thing that I say is going to click. When you do the thinking, I can't do this for, for you. When you do the thinking and the contemplating and the racking over everything I'm saying in my mind, all of a sudden something is going to click. And what's going to happen is that you're going to go from a level 10 depressed to a 9. And it's just going to go in a matter of a second or like a millisecond. It's going to be like that. And at first you're going to think, wait, no, that's not how that, that, that's not how you become less depressed. You become less depressed by success, by action, through perseverance, through achieving it. No, no, no. That, the difference between that is that's the dirty high. And you're going to waste the rest of your life chasing external validation and tempting to find so, contemplate the videos, you have the aha moment, and all of a sudden, your depression is going to go from like a 10 to a 9 when it clicks. And you're going to do this over and over and over um, until you, you know, start to see really significant results and you could bring your depression down to a zero this way.